How's it going guys? This is Jeff with KindleFireWire.com. I'm going to show you how to unroot your Kindle Fire, keep Android market, and still watch Amazon video on demand. So just reboot your Kindle Fire to start with. Once you reboot, let's go ahead and just show you that I still have Android market access right here. I can still go into Android market, etc, etc. So that's all good. If you want to know how to do that, follow some of my other videos to show how to get Android market on your Kindle Fire. Now I'm going to show you the Amazon video on demand feature, which doesn't work if you have a rooted Kindle at this moment. Moment. So let me just try to load up a movie. You see where it says watch now how that's grayed out? It doesn't work. So what we need to do is unroot our Kindle. Open up super one click on your Windows box here. Make sure your Kindle Fire is plugged in uh, and it has it showing the connection for the USB. Once you do that, just click unroot in super one click and it'll go through the unroot process. It's really that easy. It's just literally one click. You just hook your fire up and then you'll notice that under the description, it'll start with killing the ADB server using a kill server command, starting the server, and then it'll go through all the different commands to unroot the device, take away root access, and this will allow you to access your Amazon video on demand and also retain all the benefits that you got. Um, you know, as far as Android market is concerned, all the apps that you downloaded, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so yeah, it's a win-win situation for Kindle Fire owners. So it's going to finish up here. It shouldn't take too much longer. And while this is finishing, I figured it would be a good time to put in a little personal plug. If you haven't followed me on Twitter, make sure you do so. It's at Jeff Benjam. And also make sure you subscribe to the channel, Kindle Firewire, and like the videos and comment, etc. I need as many of you guys to do that to help me out. And here it is. Device does not have super user, so that's a good thing. You just click OK there and you're done with unrooting. Now just reboot your Kindle Fire as we're doing right here. And in a few moments, you should notice it come back up to the lock screen. And then we're going to try uh, both the Android market and try playing some of the Amazon video on demand content that we could not play due to the device being rooted. So it should just be a few more seconds. There is the lock screen. Let's go ahead and unlock our device. Now let's head over right over to the, uh, the Amazon launcher. Go to video. Sorry for the sideways video. <laughs> and then go to live. Well, not library. View all. And let's try our Jetsons video again and let's see what we get. There it is. Watch now is green. It's ready to go. And if you tap that, it loads up just like that. I won't show any video because of copyright concerns, but it does work. So let's try the uh, marketplace again just to verify since we're unrooted. And you will have to accept the terms and conditions again. That is one, uh, I guess, caveat if you want to consider it that. And now we should see there. Let's just try downloading Turkey Blast. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Accept and download, see what happens. There it goes, it's downloading. And the downloading has started. It should finish up in a few moments. Then we'll go ahead and install it and try out Turkey Blast. Now, I think this actually uses the um, accelerometer in the Kindle Fire, so that's pretty neat. Pretty interesting game we have here. And, okay, now I'm gonna open the game. There it is, a little upside down. Let's just flip over the device here. Doesn't look like it's going to kick in. So there you go, folks. That is how you unroot your Kindle Fire, retain Android market, and also have Amazon Video On Demand. This is Jeff with KindleFireWire.com.